Dean Henderson has 10 clean sheets compared to David De Gea's eight. They've come in fewer games as well, 27 games compared to De Gea's 29. And he's let in fewer goals. It's 22 goals he's let in. And David De Gea's let in 30. But still, some argue that De Gea is a better fit for United style. What would you say to that? I'm not, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. I think De Gea's style might at some point times be holding United back because... You know, I've been told that the way that De Gea plays, it, it, it kind of invites the defenders to drop deeper to protect him more. So if you're de defending deeper, you're inviting the position on. So maybe De Gea is the reason why he's letting so many in and saving so many shots as well is that the way he plays, he invites more shots at goal than another goalkeeper would. But the one thing I'd say about Henderson, as great a season as he's had, the, the one standout memory for me is the mistake he made against Liverpool when he let one through his legs, and that, that was a a big mistake cost Sheffield United the game and after the game Chris Wilder said that you know he needs to kind of sharpen up his, his focus if he's going to be a goalkeeper for Man United now you know that was a what that was one mistake where that kind of showed you in a very big game if you make a mistake it's highlighted and his reaction after that game you just wonder whether you know mentally he's ready yet for the, the focus of playing for a club at Man United he, like I say he's a young goalkeeper he probably needs to make more mistakes at a smaller kind of profile to get used to that to when he goes back to United because otherwise you know, I've seen it over the years. United can kind of ruin a lot of goalkeepers. We've seen it with people like, you know, Tim Howard, Fabian Barthez, Massimo Taibbi is an obvious one, but Mark Bosnich is another one. If you're not a great goalkeeper, the, the, the mental strength to cope with United, it can, it, can, it can chew up and spit you out. So he should go there when he's ready, not risk that. One great goalkeeper in Manchester United's history, Peter Schmeichel, thinks that David De Gea should keep his spot. And he says that in terms of what Dean Henderson's done this season, it's a big difference playing at Bramall Lane to it is at Old Trafford. And there's a big pressure that comes with playing at Old Trafford. Do you think Dean Henderson would be up to dealing with that pressure? Um, this is the, 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 the question that nobody can answer right now. I think I'd say no. I mean, I might be wrong. I might, I might misjudge his character because he's quite a confident lad. But if you make a mistake playing for Man United, the whole world knows about it. If you make a mistake playing for Sheffield United, you might get away with it unless it's against a club like Liverpool. So I think that Schmeichel's right. De Gea's got that experience that you need right now and he has made a lot of mistakes but in fairness to, to De Gea he's bounced back from those mistakes so I think Henderson needs to realise that playing for Man United is life in a goldfish ball you have to be ready for it and it wouldn't do him any harm to just have another year elsewhere I mean look at Joe Hart Joe Hart was billed as the best one of the best keepers in the world at, when he started at Man City but it, it came very much too much too young for Joe Hart and by the time you know well, late 20s, he was already kind of damaged goods because he made a lot of mistakes and couldn't handle the, the pressure of being a top top level goalkeeper. So, you know, Henderson could have 17, 18 years ahead of him. So, and you know, at least 10 of those could be Man United. So why rush another year? Just, just build up your experience somewhere else and then let's see where it leaves you in 12 months' time. You mentioned England for him and how another loan deal could really help his chances there. How do you rate him against the likes of a Jordan Pickford and a Nick Pope? I think he's got he's got what it takes, you know. I think he's certainly got the potential. You know, Pickford has made a lot of mistakes. A bit like De Gea, he he had a great World Cup in twenty eighteen. Pickford, and he's come back and he he's been a bit erratic. You know, we remember the big mistake he made in the the derby against Liverpool last year when a, you know when I think it was Origi scored late on, and and this season as well he's made mistakes. So you know, Pickford's vulnerable. You know, Nick Pope is a very steady goalkeeper and he's he's very able, but again playing for Burnley, he's not kind of exposed to the same pressures that you will be exposed to at a bigger club. So. The chance is there for Henderson to take it, but I think if he's going to be England's goalkeeper at Euro 2020, 20, 20, 20, whatever I'm going to call it, he has to be playing next season. And if he goes back to Man United, unless De Gea gets injured, he's not going to be playing regularly enough to get that England spot. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.